Welcome back to another video on vectors. So in this one, I'll be trying to explain how two ships can avoid collision and how to prove that they do not collide. All right, or even to show how they can collide. So suppose we've got two ships with position vectors 1 plus 2t all bracket around i plus 3 minus t all around j. Okay, remember i is always going to be due east and j is always set to due north. And of course, ship B with position vector 5 minus Ti plus bracket minus 2 plus 4Tj. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to consider the question. If two ships are going to collide, and we had like a, suppose of a 2D map, okay? Suppose the ship was here, ship A was over here. The only way A is going to collide with B, if B was also at A. If A was here, and B was here, and uh, this is at any given time and it's, drive, it's moving along its own coastal line B may collide with A if it was cutting through at some time T at some certain time or A could be travelling in a completely different direction or completely parallel to it it may never collide so the idea is, is to show is to show using our vectors in terms of I and J for, for a given value T that they may collide or not so the first thing you want to do is to match in terms of i and j. So let's look at i's for a second, yeah? Let's match these two equations, 1 plus 2t against 5 minus t. If we get the same t for both of them, then at that time they are exactly in the same point. It means they will collide. So let's solve the first set equation. 1 plus 2t equals 5 minus t. We can always add t across and subtract 1, so we're going to get 3t equals 4 and therefore dividing 3 across t equals 4 over 3 okay so that's one possible time so let's see if we get the same value for j okay so let's match the j components which is 3 minus t and minus 2 plus 4t what do we get well once again doing the same process adding 2 across we get 5 plus in t we get 5t and hence dividing 5, t gives us exactly 1. So, let's substitute one of these two values in, see what position we actually are at. So, suppose we put t equals 4 over 3 into, and find out where ship A is at this time. So, we say at time 4 over 3, we know that RA has posi position vector. So, what did I get for this one? Put in 4 over 3, you should get 1 plus 2 times 4 over 3 will give us 11 over 3i. Plus, put in 4 over 3, so 3 minus 4 over 3, this should give us 5 over 3j. So, at RB, where would, be, where would the ship be? Be at time 4 over 3. Well, put in 5, take away 4 over 3 will give us 11 over 3. So, as you can see, this is what we're supposed to get. We're supposed to get the same value at the same time because we just match these two equations. This tells us that at these two times, these two positions, at time 4 or 3, they'll be in the same x or y axis. In other words, they'll be in the same part on the map. Now, they could be in a different location, north and south, but we proved that because of this one. So, what happens at time 4 or 3? Well, for this one, when at time 5 or 3, we should get 10 over 3j. So, yep. Clearly, they're not in the same place. They might be in the same i axes, but they're nowhere near j because ra is probably somewhere here and j is somewhere there. So, actually, at position, at time 4 over 3, ship b is exactly 10, 10 over 3, take away 5 3, is exactly 5 over 3, suppose it's kilometers, kilometers in, ahead of ship. A. Okay, so this is actually one scenario. Again, what happens when we're at time one? So this is exactly one here. So we could we could even rewrite this as due north. So ship B is due north of ship A by a distance of five or three kilometers. By time one, so we see where we're going here. We should get something easy. So where would ship A be? Well, A would be at one plus two times one, which is three t plus. And the J comment three take away one is two J. Oops, so this is I. Okay. So now ship B, where exactly would it be? Hold on. 
B would be at 5, take away 1 is 4i, plus, minus 2 plus 4 times 1, which is 2j. So again, just like the previous one, but now they're in the same j component, they're in the same j axis. But B is, let's say, 1 kilometer ahead of A, which is due east. So 1 kilometer ahead of A, due east. So suppose they were both in the same axis for J. But then I is probably, B is probably here. So it's a distance of 1 kilometer ahead, due east. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much um, how you show or, you know, prove or disprove whether ships can collide or not. So the main idea is to always think about where they're going to be. They have to collide if they're going to be in the same position. To be in the same position, you have to be in the same position at the same time in both directions. Clearly this wasn't the case. They were at the same position on the east axis or the i axis at time 43. And then on the j axis they were at the same place at time 1. So they were never at the same time. If they were both say 1 or 43 then, they were clearly collide and boom. There'll be no passengers however this wasn't the case and i hope this helped so guys i'll catch you soon and um check out my other videos and if you if you're actually enjoying this content you know what just hit me up subscribe and i'll bring out more content anyway guys speak soon and ciao